Duck season, wabbit season, duck season, wabbit season, wabbit season, duck season. Hey, wait, no. You're despicable. Hey, welcome back, everyone. Toysh is here, and I'm back yet again for yet another DC Multiverse video. And today it comes courtesy of my friends over at McFarlane Toys. We're going to be checking out two basically one, but there's a variant, of course, of their newest wave of the McFarlane Toys Collector's Edition figures, which includes the totally random Captain Carrot. Now, this would be the, the more modern costume for old Captain Carrot. Very interesting. It's a figure I never knew I wanted, but he's pretty darn cool. Now, the size of the box will tell you it comes from Justice League Incarnate. You got some artwork on the back of Captain Carrot, and here's the barcode for this version. Now, like I said, there's also a Platinum Edition variant. There's not going to be a whole lot of difference in the box, except for it says Platinum Edition with the sticker. But then he has a more classic original look for Captain Carrot. The boxes are exactly the same from the artwork on the back, which, hey, that's always nice to see. And then the barcode, it's the same thing. So whether or not you order it online could be either or that shows up. But in the meantime, uh, we got some wabbits to talk about. So sit back, relax, grab yourself a nice hot cup of coffee. This is a look at the brand new McFarlane Collector's Edition straight from their DC Multiverse line. Captain Carrot, along with his platinum variant by McFarlane Toys. And if you all would be very, very quiet, I just want to say thanks so much for always checking out my DC Multiverse videos. And if you haven't already, please do consider subscribing. Old toys, new toys, daily news updates. Guarantee you'll find something here that you like. So you got Captain Carrots and the more modernist version comes with a bunch of extra hands, like the thumbs up. And it has like texturish detail, right? Reds, yellows, fisted hand, along with a gun holding hand. McFarlane Toys, stop making characters with any types of gun holding hands, unless they use guns, right? But I do like the finger pointing hand. That's cool. The actual figure, and we've talked about this before, the McFarlane Toys Collector's Edition run you 30 bucks. This is probably the very first instance where I'll tell you, yes, this would be a $30 figure. It's a brand new sculpt. He has gorgeous texturing all over the place. Kind of looks like a golf ball. He has armor to the nines. He's got rabbit feet. It's very cool. Textured everywhere, right? Even this little cotton tail right there. Nice wash in the whites, of course, as well. And you have a basketball type textures cape. A lot of texture going on. Dare I say... Too much texture, right? But again, for the $30 price point, detail the heck out of this thing. But I love the face portrait. It's really good. This is one of their best DC Multiverse figures to date because of the sculpt alone. From the ears to the little button nose, I love it. Now, from the ears, well, the texture to the mask with the more mats to the neck, they could have broken it up a little bit more. But I will tell you, yeah, it's it's pretty darn solid. And the articulation is pretty darn solid as well. Again, I really like just the way the cape is, right? You can tell what they kind of used for reference here and there. From the carrots to the sea, everything looks great. But his ears are articulated. And for whatever reason, that is my favorite part about this. I saw that at first and I go, no way. Yeah, they actually articulated the ears. That's cool. That's a nice little additive that they didn't need to do, but it certainly brings this character to life a whole heck of a lot better. Plenty of articulation in the head, getting him looking side to side, up, down, left, right. Butterfly soldiers, he's got the bicep, he's got double jointed elbows, he's got it all. So again, built from the ground up, brand new figure. And it clearly shows that they have been working on things, which is nice to see. Not much of an ab crunch, but certainly has upper abs. You got the waist, you got the legs, nothing at the thigh. Double jointed knees with his little Captain Carrot toes. It's adorable, right? So you got a really cool Captain Carrot. I'm sure everybody out there that's watching this video right now certainly was just banging on McFarlane's door saying, please... Give us Captain Carrot, but it turned out awesome. Now, there is the variant, right? So he has that more classic look. He does come with the same exact hands. 
In the classic look for Captain Carrot, these are supposed to be flesh, right? They've just painted the gloved hands, so again, it's like, oh, thanks for doing that, could have changed it. The head portrait, the costume, the body, it kind of fits with the original Captain Carrot, right? He does look good. It's totally the version that I prefer, but I would have loved if they added the little carrot belt. That would have been really cool. Or just giving him carrots as accessory. That seems like a missed opportunity, right? You would think Captain Carrot, the Cosmic Carrot, giving him some kind of carrots. That would have been cool. The one nitpick gripe that I have, the ears, everything aside, right? He looks too mean for this version. I would have loved if he had an alternate head portrait, maybe more in that cartoony style, right? Because he's always looking up because of the pupils, but he just looks like he's angry. And for me, it, it just doesn't fit. Like he's pointing at the kids being like, eat your vegetables, kid. <laughs> so that's my only gripe. It's a nitpick. Doesn't matter. No, but I would have totally preferred a more happy-go-lucky Captain Carrot to fit more with his original appearance with the zoo crew and all that. However, he's got the classic costume to a degree. Yes, the belts with the carrots would have been nice. And you see the difference between the two. To be honest with you, I like what they did with the classic costume. I think I more gravitate towards the newer version, just an overall sense. But either or, they're pretty good. But of course, with McFarlane, five steps forward, 10 steps back. And again, this is going to be a minor thing, but he comes with the flight stand. However, this figure is so big, so heavy, so just unable to be clipped into that tiny stand, which the stand is very flimsy, right? It doesn't really hold up. These are barely hanging on for dear life. So if you're going to give us bigger characters and then include the flight stand, well, we're going to need a heftier flight stand to then hold these characters because I'm telling you, it's not going to do the trick. These, however long they held up, I don't know how, but they immediately toppled over. But if you wanted to see the scale, so he will fit in with George Clooney or Firestorm. He's supposed to be more of a buff rabbit humanoid character, so that totally works. But his ears will, of course, give him the definite height. And that's totally cool because, again, it fits in with the whole idea of Captain Carrot. And just to show you, because the classic version is the exact same figure and height and everything else, if you wanted to go more with a Justice League, Superman, Blue Beetle, Batman, Kyle Rayner, it does fit. His costume is very textured, so it's not going to fit perfectly. But again, it's Captain Carrot on your shelf Go figure, right? So that will wrap it up for my look at the brand new McFarlane Toys Captain Carrots and his variant version. And I have to say, overall, for the $30 price point, I think that they finally achieved the $30 mark. You know what I mean? You could say that all day. Oh, I'd prefer this, prefer this. At least it's a brand new figure with extra hands and a flight stand. However, the flight stand doesn't do you a whole lot of justice. But you also get the card stand, which <laughs> we all know by now. It's a solid figure if you're interested, and I do recommend it. But you've heard my thoughts, and I'm curious to know yours. Comment below, let me know. Let's talk everything Captain Carrot and his zoo crew. And I'm going to leave you guys with that. As always, drink some great coffee, eat some great food. But most importantly, remember, kids, parents, if you're listening out there, eat your carrots. It helps your eyes or whatever I was told as a child. And when you do, let me know what you found. I'll talk to you guys soon. Adios.